after we learn how to construct an object for a set of grouped data, today we are going to learn how to determine range, interquartile range, variance, and standard deviation as a measure to describe the dispersion for grouped data. To know further, let us look at example 9. Pat Hamidi has recorded the mass of pineapples that he harvested from his farm. The following frequency table and ogive show the data that he obtained. Determine the range and interquartile range for the data. Okay, what is the formula for range? Formula for range is equals midpoint of the highest class minus midpoint of the lowest class. Where is the highest class? Here. Last row. So what is the midpoint? The lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. Okay, so now we calculate the range. Okay, the midpoint of the highest class minus the midpoint of the lowest class is this one, the first row, which is 400 plus 499 divided by 2. equals 949.5 minus 449.5 so equals 500 gram means that the difference between the heaviest pineapple and the lightest pineapple is 500 gram Okay, so now we are going to learn how to find the interquartile range. Okay, still remember the formula for interquartile range. The third quartile minus the first quartile. So before we find the interquartile range, we need to find the value of the first quartile. To find first quartile, we use formula 1 over 4 times the total frequency which is AT, so 1 over 4 times AT equals 20. So we need to find the value of first quartile from the graph. So, so from here, the graph 20 is here. So go to the graph. When touch to the graph, then turn to the horizontal axis. Then you will get the value of first quarter is equals 614.5. Okay, so we also need to find the the quarter. So position of the quarter is 3 over 4 times the total frequency. 3 over 4 times at t equals 60. So from the graph, 60. And you find the value from the horizontal axis, which is 809.5. So I write the third quartile here. Therefore, the interquartile range equals third quartile minus first quartile, which is 809.5 minus 614.5. So, interquartile range equals 195 grams. 
conclusion different between the heaviest pineapple and the lightest pineapple that lies in the middle 50% of the distribution is 195 gram. Now we are going to learn the variance and standard deviation. Variance and standard deviation for a group the data can be obtained by using the following formula. Variance equals sigma f s square over sigma f minus square of mean. Standard deviation, you just add the square root at the variance. Okay, so S is midpoint, F is frequency, and mean. The, this is the symbol of mean of the data. So let us look at example 10. The frequency table below shows the volumes of water to the nearest liters used daily by a group of families in a housing area. Calculate the variance and standard deviation of the data. Okay, so we fill in the frequency here. Do you remember how to calculate midpoint? The lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. So we can obtain 154.5. Same as the other. The last one, 204.1. Okay, what is FS? Frequency multiplied with point. So by using calculator, you will obtain this. S square means square of midpoint, so you will obtain quite a big number here. Okay, S square is frequency multiply S square. Okay, okay, after you obtain all this value, now you find the total frequency. Okay, the, the total frequency equals 95. After this, you find the total of FS is 17,417.5. And the total of F, F square. Completed the frequency table here. Now we try to find the mean. So formula for mean is sigma Fs over the total frequency. So we find sigma fs is 17,417.5 divided by total frequency 95. 
So it goes 184.34 liter. Okay, after this we find variance. The formula is sigma f s square over sigma f minus square uh, the square of mean. Okay, so three so three million two hundred and fifteen thousand one hundred and thirty three point seven five divided by total frequency ninety five minus the square of mean okay so we obtain the variance equals 229.1856 out of correct to do decimal places is 229.19 liter square Okay, so now we want to find the standard deviation. Still remember the formula of standard deviation. We just add the square root to the variance. You can get the value of the standard deviation. We we'll obtain the value of standard deviation equals 15.1389. Uh, if you round off correct to two decimal places, is 15.14 and we write the unit later. This is all for today's lesson. Hope you like it and understand what I taught. And don't forget like and share my video. Thank you.